think this trip is gonna be very eye opening and it's gonna make us appreciate the life that we have here even more. Hey, just so we out here, man, <laughs> at the Greenville Airport, about to head to Atlanta and then head to Haiti. We're so excited to make a difference and we can't wait to get started. Congratulations on the national championship. That is awesome. Headed to Haiti. I'm ready. I'm uh, anxious. I don't know what to expect. Um, but I guess we're going to get started. I'm Tiffany Turner. I'm director of outreach for Souls for Souls. Souls for Souls is a nonprofit and we're based in Nashville, Tennessee, and we distribute shoes around the world. station we are sizing them up and uh, making sure they got the right uh, shoe size and writing the numbers on their hand so they can go in there and get, size, get the right size. Some people will be washing their feet and after that they would size the shoes. So I was washing the kids feet and this little girl walked in the room because we were in our own room and from the moment she walked in she had her eye on a pair of shoes. So I picked those shoes up and uh, the crazy part was that it actually fit, per they fit perfectly on her feet. And she had the biggest smile on her face. We're all here to make a difference. And, and that for us, the reigning national champs, we took, our guys took the two weeks that they had off. And you know, for six days of those two weeks they had off, they came to serve others. And I think that that speaks a lot of our guys. I think it speaks a lot of the leadership that they have. instead of thank you, you know, it goes a long way. What's up? Just finished lunch. Uh, got one sheet distribution done this morning. About to get our second school done. So, uh, let's go Tigers. Oh man, it's hard for me to imagine life to ever be the same again. I'm not perfect, but I hope and I pray that I never ever complain again. One great takeaway from it is, even in the, uh, the conditions, the children, if you smile and wave, like they would they'd smile and wave right back. Like, mm -hmm. like the joy on their faces was more than enough to get the concept and to overcome the language barrier. Your turn, your turn. Two of the 
little, little kids. Uh, the girl, Kayla, was five years old, and the boy, Mason, was six years old. They were brother and sister. Uh, they instantly, for some reason, bonded to Christian. Uh, Christian, Kayla was with him, and Mason was with me. Uh, it was like just a little experience. With me, it hit me hard because like I had a cold bottle of water, and he was sitting there. I had a couple sips out of it, and he noticed, and I put the top on. He couldn't communicate with me, he was just so young, but he was like messing with the top once and off. And you would have thought I'd given him a million dollars just the way he was just chugging that water. Like you could tell he probably hasn't had a cold drink of water in a while. And it was just like, wow, like something I can go get my phone from my faucet in my apartment or just I get a cold water bottle out of the fridge. And these kids really don't have clean water and they're used to having dirty water or just have to fend for just any kind of drink. So it was just kind of a just a totally different experience. And uh, we were playing a little game, we we're playing a little slap game. So he put his hands on top of mine, I actually slap it and all that kind of stuff. And it was just a cool bonding experience, just being able to realize, even though these kids are a thousand miles away from where I'm from, they're still little kids, they still love playing around, but just, they take the necessities as we take for granted, as like, it's a precious resource for them, so they don't get it very often, so when they get it, they're just super ecstatic. <laughs>is really an organization that deals with some of the high needs in Haiti, especially in Tomazo. Uh, maternal health issues, medical issues, even down to the basic issues of people not having enough food. We want to stand in front of that oppression and provide those things for these people. So this is my first service trip, you know, so it was just huge for me. It's just an experience, just experience in life, and just to have that at 21 years old is just awesome. Like I'm getting to do this at 21 years old. The most important thing I think, just as a human being, it humbles you, it makes you check yourself, and you know, kind of think, what do you think is important? Like, what do you view as important in your life, and should it be viewed as important? Should this be important? What do you have stat in your life, or what do you value? I feel like this is good for as a, for your soul as a human being just to you know see these people struggling and not have food and a house and shelter and they got these big smiles on their faces and not whine about small stuff that doesn't matter so it just keeps you aligned as a person so you know academically you know as an experience wise and you know just as a person it's just it was a great trip for me. I want to thank my journey for the opportunity because it truly means what it stands for a lifestyle of women. And it gave me a chance to see the players outside of their jerseys, you know, as people. You know, and I always tell you guys, the world doesn't look like Clemson. Maverick's a perfect example. He's going to get his degree. And when he goes into the real world, it does not look like Clemson. We're a citizen of the world. All right, so today, a guy we've been working with all week, uh, Paul, he lives here. Um, he actually feeds 
207 kids every single day. And what we're gonna do today is go to his place Check out his home, see what see what he deals with on a daily basis, and uh, hang out with the kids, feed them, and uh, just try to really just get the whole experience. I mean, you can't put words to it. It's priceless. The trip is priceless, and we talk about the journey and this being Paul journey and being passionate about winning. And this this week we won. Like this was a competition of anything like we did, we dominated. As, as Sweeney says, do the best you can, best is the standard. We did our very best and we won and we dominated this week. We changed so many kids' lives. And it was also great being able, being able to step away from the sheltered environment where stepping away where DePaul and the Clemson doesn't mean anything. It and, it and it's good to come to a place where you can see where everybody's the same value. And just because we may be wealthier than they are in the States, I feel like here you learn like no matter the skin color, no matter the economic status, God has placed people on earth for a reason. You know, so just because of that reason, just because I'm just because I'm going back to the States and I don't have to worry about my my next meal or if my if I'm gonna have AC, that doesn't mean that I'm better than them. And I feel like through this trip that we learned that just because they're on earth and we're on earth, everybody's the same value. And we should as a society, as a world, we should cheat we, we should treat one another that way. After that we're gonna go to Alex's house which the last time I was in Haiti, that's the orphanage that I stayed at. And like the main kids that I hung out with um, the last time I was here for the entire week. So it's gonna be awesome to be able to, uh, get... <laughs> it's gonna be awesome to be able to get back and see what's changed. Um, the last time I was here, we were laying foundations for a building. Just get back, see some of the kids as they were older. Um, really excited to see what the day has for us. Football players are more than football players. And they can they can be and do so much more. And as Coach Sweeney always says, as coaches, we want to serve our players' hearts and not their talents. And it was really really cool to see our players serve the Haitian people's hearts and not their socioeconomic standing. And uh, so that's so that's some of the, the greatest takeaways that we need to keep doing this. Uh, so thankful for Paul Journey and for providing this opportunity and I can't wait to see uh, how the Lord uses this, this service trip uh, to Haiti to change the lives of our coaches and players in Clemson.